Tonight we get new insight into Houston's new police chief and it comes from the chief himself, Art Acevedo. He sat down with our Ryan Korsgaard talking about the job and about our city only on two tonight. Ryan. And he tells me he spent his summers back in the 70s right there in Houston. He said really reminds him of his native Los Angeles, but soon Houston will be home. I've yet to meet a stranger and I look forward to uh, proving that to about two and a half million people. Chief Art Acevedo packs up his office after nine and a half years leading the Austin Police Department. They yell, hey, Art. You know, when people are calling you Art, you know that you're connecting with them as a leader uh, uh, at a very personal level. You, they feel like they know you. I think once our men and women and the Houston Police Department get to know me, they're going to know that I'm going to work tirelessly for them. Pending confirmation by the Houston City Council, he will lead the police department of the fourth largest and fastest growing city in the country. We need to move from community policing to relational policing, which means that every contact you make, it's an opportunity to establish a relationship. Now it's up to us to make it a positive relationship. He says success in Houston begins with gaining the trust of his new department as well as the community. He says he'll start with a survey sent to every officer for their opinions and in the community involvement. He says he's oftentimes patrolling the streets, making arrests and always working New Year's Eve. I will always fight tooth and nail to protect, serve, uh, and lead the 99% and to hold accountable and make sure that they don't ruin it for the 99%, that 1% that really have no business being cops. Acevedo is active on social media. He says that's a good way to find out what's happening and what's important in real time. If you are not monitoring social media as a leader, as an organization, things can spiral out of control very quickly. Now, he really gets emotional when he talks about helping kids, specifically through the Blue Santa program. He said he grew up with very little. He wants to make sure other children have much more. We're live in Austin tonight. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.